Hello everyone, welcome to techto.com. In this lecture, we will learn view serializability. Okay, so the what we have done till now is when we realized that executing transactions one by one will cause a lot of CPU time. At the same time, it will also cause CPU to be to be idle. Okay, and which will lead to least CPU utilization. Then we found out that if we can execute transactions in interleaved manner. That is, if we can schedule operations together so that we can use the CPU whenever it is ideal to execute other operation, then the CPU, CPU utilization will automatically increase. So to achieve that, we used schedule, right? So what did schedule do is, if we have transaction T1 and if we have transaction T2 and this transaction has, let's say, many operations and it has many operations okay then it schedules the operation together so that both the transactions execute parallelly right so we create a schedule where we created something like this that is r1 x then w 2 y something like this right so it means that we are scheduling processes or operations from both the transaction okay right so this is scheduling and here both the transactions are executing parallelly right but this benefit of concurrency also has some shortcomings okay so what are they basically when you are scheduling processes we have already seen that it can cause inconsistency right inconsistency may be due to the way we are scheduling these operations so whenever we form a schedule we have to check that the schedule is correct okay at the end of the execution when this execution of the schedule terminates the database state should be stable okay so that's the whole idea and we learned for that we learned conflict serializability okay in this lecture we will learn view serializability in conflict serializability we have various constraints which we have already learned okay and this is basically more strict version of serializability so generally schedulers scheduler are the one who will schedule operations of transaction to execute okay so generally schedulers choose conflict serializability okay so scheduler enforces conflict serializability to ensure that the schedule is going to be correct right but if you see in conflict serializability we also have certain conditions which can be neglected depending upon how the data is behaving right in conflict serializability we do not care what the transaction is going to do with data okay so basically this is the major difference we okay we do not care if it satisfies the condition then we say it is serializable conflict serializable otherwise it is not okay and that's where view serialize view serializability comes into picture so view serializability acts or work according to how the data is being written or read okay so now let's take an example first so we have been given a schedule here let's call it s and now let's check whether it is a conflict serializable schedule and to check that we need to take three nodes as we have three transactions so we take three nodes and we will quickly check what are the conflicting operations and we will draw edges we have already done this right so if we take this operation rb it has conflict with this right b right so i'll draw an edge from 2 to 1 now this operation also has conflict with this right b so i'll draw an edge from 2 to 3 now let's take second operation so right a right a has conflict with this read a okay so i need to draw i need to draw an edge from 2 to 1 but we already have an edge now this right a also have conflict with this read a so we need to draw an edge from 2 to 3 but we already have 
now this operation read a read a has no further co further conflict because we don't have any write a okay so now this operation it has no further conflict now this operation write b when we take this write b it has conflict with this write b because they are working on same data item at least one operation is right and they belong to different transactions okay t1 and t2 so there will be an edge from 1 to 2 the moment we draw an edge from 1 to 2 it forms a cycle okay we get a cycle here and it means that it is not conflict serializability serial serializable okay fine so this is not conflict serializable now I want you to notice that this write operation and this write operation due to this both this two write operation we got an edge and it became not conflict serializable right so serializability is disturbed due to these two writes and if you notice these two writes have no meaning in the schedule because these two writes or whatever these two writes are going to do with the data ultimately this write this write overrides it okay you are getting my point these two writes are meaningless redundant okay because ultimately this write is overriding the whole data okay and if you notice this write is a blind write blind write okay so the moment when we have a blind write we may have a situation where we can reschedule these oper these operations okay we can shift the position or execution of these operations so that we can get a serial schedule serial in sense of view view serial schedule okay so what we have learned here is if a schedule is conflict serializ serializable then of course it will be view serializable okay but if a schedule is not conflict serializable then we check whether we have a blind right okay if yes then we may or may not i mean the schedule may or may not be view serializable if it doesn't have blind right at all then the view or the schedule is not view serializable also so i'll write it down so what do you do you first check whether the given schedule is conflict serializable okay so if it is conflict serializable then if it is yes conflict serializable then of course the schedule will be view serializable okay so if the schedule is conflict serializable then it must be view serializable so you need not to check further you need not to do anything and you will declare that it is also view serializable okay but if not if the schedule is not conflict serializable then you see whether the schedule have blind write okay so if the schedule have blind write then you need to check for view serializability you need to do further checking but if the schedule is not having blind write okay it doesn't have any blind write then you declare that this schedule is not view serializable okay you understand this fine let's repeat it you first check whether the schedule is conflict serializable if yes then it will be view serializable okay you declare it it will be view serializable now you check whether I mean if the conf, uh, the schedule is not conflict serializable then you check whether the schedule have blind rights okay so if it has blind right if it has blind right then there is a chance of view serializability we need to do do further checking but if there is no blind right then it is not view serializable okay fine so in this previous example where we checked whether it is conflict serializable or not we have found that it is not conflict serializable and we also found that it has a blind right so we need to check whether it is view serializable right so to check whether this schedule is view serializable what we will do 
we will check whether this schedule is equivalent to or view equivalent to some serial schedule right if this schedule is view equivalent to view equivalent to some serial schedule then we will say that this schedule is view serializable okay so in next lecture we will check how we should go for it we will start with the same this same schedule and we will check whether this is view serializable okay so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching